Here we've got the widget screen, uh, and as you can see we've got different widgets laid out here, one for weather, one to show us the state of the phone if we've got any missed calls or messages or emails, uh, a clock and a calculator. We can get more widgets just by simply pressing and holding on any one of the widgets we've already got, um, or if there's no widgets you can just press and hold on the screen. Then we get this sort of selection of widgets come up the top here, uh, at the bottom, sorry. So we can just get rid of the clock there, and maybe stick up, say, a calendar instead, and just move that about wherever we like on the screen. So it's fairly easy to use and a uh, fairly um, cool little menu. Um, unfortunately, there's not many widgets. If I just bring that back up again, you can see there's not exactly a particularly huge selection of widgets. Um, and I don't think you can download any more either, so um, you're fairly stuck with what you can use in terms of widgets. Um, if we just move across to the next screen now, onto the contact screen. And on the contact screen, we've got all your contact images. Now, unfortunately, the Microsoft Active Sync that you use to sync the contacts hasn't uh, actually synced any of the contact images. So you've just got these sort of standard um, silhouettes instead. Also, the Active Sync didn't uh, sync any of my contact numbers, which was quite annoying. It just uh, synced the names and the email addresses for some strange reason. But anyway, you can view this. Again, you can uh, change these uh, contacts on here. This is just a favourite contacts. You can delete one from here, or you can edit using this button, or you can even view the contacts in a slightly different way. As you can see, we've got sort of like a grid layout there now. And if we go OK, you can just uh, swipe on through those, and it's sort of, I personally prefer this one. It's easier to find your contacts. Um, but that's quite handy as well, and obviously it'd look a lot prettier if we had all the contact images in here. I'm sure you'd be able to do it if you uh, played around with it for a bit. Uh, moving on now, we've also got the multimedia home screen. It's the same thing here. Basically, anything on the multimedia home screen or the contacts home screen is just your favourite. So you can, in the contacts application, all of the contacts that are in that home screen are starred. Here you can see little stars next to their name at the side there. Um, and all of those will appear on the contacts home screen. Very much the same as here for the music and the um, photographs. All these are actually starred as favourites in the music player and the gallery. So uh, not all your music or, and, uh, and photos shows up here, just your favourites, which is quite handy. So you can just uh, sort of scroll through these and just pick one you want. It'll open it up in a little uh, sort of small window on the screen. That isn't the full gallery, but you can still quite easily zoom through all your, mess uh, all your photographs and open one up. Full screen, perhaps. There we go. Um, and you can even slide through. As you can see, it's not the smoothest experience when you're uh, whizzing through the messages, but it's good enough to allow you to show them to friends or whatever. Just go back to the uh, normal view there. Same goes for music. You can listen to the music straight from the home screen just by tapping on the song you want there. And you can, uh, again, just zoom through your music like that. And again, you have... Um, uh, instead of contact images, obviously, you'd have your album art here printed onto the CDs, but again, it doesn't seem to have taken it from the memory card for some reason. Uh, so you might have to fiddle around with that a bit more to get your album art showing on the CDs. Just trying to go back, there we go. But yeah, all the album art would show up here on all the CDs uh, in this menu. So that's the uh, Cube menu. Just move on now to show you messaging. So I'm just going to quickly look at messaging now, uh, which is in the main menu here. So if we just hit that. Uh, you can see the main menu is quite a nice looking main menu. Um, we've got four different uh, horizontally scrollable lists of applications, as you can see there. Uh, and at the top here we've got communication, which has things like messaging, email, uh, and the contacts in. Then we've got multimedia, which is things like the camera, the music player, and the gallery. And we've got utilities, which has things like the uh, calculator, uh, the organizer, memos. And then lastly we have settings, which is things like your profile settings and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and stuff. So it's quite a nice little menu, um, not necessarily that easy to know that you've actually got to scroll sideways. I mean, the little arrows that pop up initially don't stay there very long, so unless you're new to scroll across, you might not quite get that you could. Um, but either way, if you turn the phone on its side, you get a lot more options uh, all show up on the screen at once, so it's uh, quite a handy little way to do things and it also looks quite cool when it flicks between the two, it's quite a quick animation as well. But if you just go back to uh, messaging, you can see we've got the separate uh, icons for email and messaging, so if we go into normal messaging which is SMS, you can see uh, we've got an SMS in there and if we just tap that it opens up straight away in the list there. 
um, and you can use this again we've got a horizontal scrollable menu at the bottom here so you can say reply to or delete the message tr straight away from this menu and then just tap again back at the top to uh, close that SMS back into the list. In the email it's quite similar except here we've actually got instead of an inbox we've got just lists of your different inboxes different mail accounts so as you can see at the Google Mail one we've got 16 messages all of which are unread and in the mobile phone one they're all read but we've got a lot more unfortunately this device only supports up to 300 messages in the inbox which is quite annoying uh, because it also can only download um, the, the entire inbox it can't download say there's no option to download just messages from the past week so uh, if you had 400 emails in your inbox you would end up with 300 oldest emails being downloaded to the phone uh, which is quite annoying uh, let's go move on now to the contacts just tap the contacts here you can see uh, again we've got a nice finger scrollable list we've got the side here this little um, tab comes up which allows us to um, scroll through different items it seems to be moving the opposite way to my thumb there let's see if we can grab it there you go we can uh, scroll through by letter which is quite handy um, and as you can see again the contacts open up directly in the list much the same as the messages do you just open it straight up and close it straight away in the list now you'll notice that none of the contacts actually have phone numbers only email addresses um, even though they've got phones towards the side of them here that's because um, I synced all these contacts with Microsoft Active Sync um, and it didn't take any of the numbers across only the names and the email addresses uh, it also didn't take across any of the contact images which is quite strange um, it makes it pretty useless because I've been using the phone without any of the numbers in it um, because it didn't sync them across um, but otherwise it works easily enough I mean you can just scroll through and as I say it's quite easy to just open up individual contacts and again you get this horizontally scrollable menu at the bottom to change uh, various settings, edit, reply, send a message to for example